So here we are in the grow room with my special watering bottle. These are marigolds being watered. You don't want to drown these with water, so this little watering devices. Really and next to it, I have uh, some Vietnamese, uh, I suppose they're spring onions. They're spreading nicely. Those are the marigolds. Yeah. Those ones have become a bit leggy. I'll have to transplant them and along here. This is a, a red spring onion from uh, Vietnam. And I've planted about five or six in each cell. So just plant them in clumps and then you can dig them out in the clump and a nice amount of spring onions to put into whatever you want to put them into. That there is um, Corsican kale. Uh, you can plant it as a sort of flower in a flower bed. And this here is some more. Mm, what do you call it? Marigolds. And this is the first time that I've tried to grow Brussels sprouts. And here, this is a uh, halvers petunias from Norway. But, uh, really small, minuscule seeds. But, uh, and not all that great germination on them, but uh, they're growing okay. And there is uh, my tomatoes. I got them from me. Uh, Myrna ukulele in Alaska, very sort of short yeah, growing season and that's what I need over here in Finland. And at the back there you can see Thai chili gari, so that was from gari entropy and then next to it those are zinnias and then here this is the uh, Jimmy Nardello uh, sweet pepper and at the end that there is a uh, black eyed Susan some sort of hybrid planted five seeds in three pots and I think I've had two come up very difficult to germinate down in here, those are three yeah, red cabbage which I took from that sprout pouch and that's the other black eyed Susan there and that one you can see the missing generated. So that's what's going on in the garden. No chance of putting anything outside yet. Looks like a little bit another month before things can go out into the garden. And that's it from the garden. You can see here when onions they sprout in there yeah, up at the top. There's always the little seed casing and very many of them. They're always sort of bent over like that at the beginning. And if you put down the roots then that bit will pop up and the seed casing will be on it. This is a special mix. It's called Mescal Mix. It's a lettuce mix. 
and it uh, comes from uh, France and I've had it once before it's one of these uh, cut and come again salads and it's very good and I bought three of these uh, cut and come again salads uh, this is the mescaline mix and I've also got this one here frilly leaf salad mix you see the seeds are a lot different uh, it's from uh, Viridis uh, Hortus the company and the second third one here is this uh, hair blend baby leaf salad mix looks like there was some coriander in there so you can grow those in uh, what do you call it containers and just uh, pluck the leaves off when you want them Many years ago I had a parsnip gladiator F1 and it was the best parsnip that I ever grew. Really strong, big white roots and no sort of hairs on them and really good. So I've got it again, I found it at this uh, Viridis Hortus. And I thought that I would try and grow butternut squash uh, and I researched it and this one seems to be a good one uh, for storing over winter as well and finally I got this uh, orange Hokkaido or Okichu Kuri it's a small sort of pumpkin or orange in colour. So that was the third one. And those seeds are quite big. And I saw a, a market gardener over in Japan and he's constructed a little sort of instrument for cracking these seeds open, these big seeds, because when you crack pumpkin seeds and uh, squash seeds uh, open at the tip, then they germinate uh, quicker and they don't sort of rot in the ground. So I'll have to be getting these into pots pretty soon so I can get them planted out once the frost is passed.